again, folks. I told you I would be back here in a little bit. So, it does look like we do have an update. Um, not quite sure how accurate it is, but fingers crossed this is exactly what's going on. So, what are we talking about? So, we are back to the JDAH situation. Um, what I have just found out, and this is courtesy of the YouTuber Come Geek Some. I'm going to go ahead and share the link to his channel here in the comments. Guys, please go ahead and check out his channel. My two or three folks who actually watch this, uh, he's a great guy, does great vids. Uh, please go ahead and... Uh, Give him a check out, give him a subscribe, hit the like button. Uh, it looks like, I should say rumor has it, we'll say allegedly, that due to the publicity backlash with what's been going on between Amber Heard and JD and all the lies that she's getting called on, due to the audio tapes and all the evidence that is coming out that her role as Mira is going to start being reduced in the Aquaman reshoots and she might have a much reduced role if she's going to be in Aquaman 2 at all. So it does look like she is getting affected with what's going on in Australia right now and just the overall bad publicity that she's getting from her lies. So again, first of all, another round of applause for Australia. Thank you for calling her on her nonsense. It's about time somebody did. You can't lie on such a big platform and just expect to keep getting away with it over and over again. So, as a person who deeply enjoys seeing folks getting their comeuppance, that makes me quite happy as well. Now, as far as the Aquaman rumor is com confirmed, I don't have absolute confirmation on that. I'm going to be looking into that as soon as I get off of here. So, looks like this is going to be real quick, folks, instead of my usual long rant. It does look like the bad publicity due to the her lies coming to light is going to affect her role as being Mira. It may not be the immediate solution we were all hoping for but it is going to give us something and I definitely don't think she's going to be too too happy about it to be at all honest that was her real big role I really before that had never even heard of her before not even with well, before this court case, I didn't even know he was married to the woman. That tells you how out of touch I generally am when it comes to these things. So, I will go ahead and look into it. I will update you guys as I know it. Uh, do know that Australia has not charged her yet. I do want to go ahead and do a quick update. It does look like that. She is actually getting charged by the Commonwealth of Australia and not Queensland, which means instead of 14 years, if she did get prison time, she is looking at five. Um, I'm hoping that she at least gets a fine. I don't want to see her get off almost scot-free again. There's got to be some consequences to bad behavior, in my opinion. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But, anyways. Okay. So, guys, again, 
this is a real small channel. Most of my content has to do with disability rights, uh, autism rights as well. Uh, just kind of a rehash of what's going on in the autism and disability rights world, what issues we're facing, what have you. I do want you to hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and hit the comments. Hit that like button so that we can get up there and those other videos that definitely need to be seen can go ahead and get out there. The larger media barely covers anything that's going on in disability and autistic communities. Uh, if we do hit mainstream media, we might get a single broadcast on a story before it is forgotten. So, please get this out there, share it. Uh, if you're interested, please take a look at some of the other videos. And I hope you all have a good one. Thank you.